Good morning to those people that uh, view us on Facebook Live coming from New Vision Community Church. As you can see, <coughs> I'm in a hospital bed this morning and uh, I'm being treated. Uh, I'm in isolation and I'm being treated as a precaution to the coronavirus. And uh, I just couldn't let it get me down as far as being able to share a word or so with the folks that normally follow us and, and watch us and, and maybe to some of those that are coming for the first time uh, to the uh, emergency room Friday afternoon because I had some abdominal pain. And I had a chronic cough that was causing me abdominal pain that made me feel like my abdominal wall was being compromised. So I was like pushing a hernia back in. So I came here for that. And uh, they gave me x-rays and found out that I had uh, pneumonia in both my lungs. Uh, well, uh, as a result of that, they put me on lockdown and so now, hey, how you doing? I'm in uh, in isolation. I want you to know that my faith has never wavered as far as God's intended purpose for me. And I want you to know that my faith has never wavered as far as God's intended purpose for me. I want you to know that my faith has never wavered as far as God's intended purpose for me and for a new vision community church. We're going to be fine. We're going to be all right. And that you've shown new vision, but we're going to be fine. We're going to be all right. And, uh, I'm believing that. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Shalom to the brethren and the families in sincerity. Okay. Following this truth. Okay. okay. I want to go in this video here. Uh, first and foremost, I'll say that the brother, uh, his screen name is Judah1969. You may have seen him on several uh, channels, but uh, he sends me various clips. If the clips I don't find. In wake of especially this, these uh, things that's happening, which we look for, we look for prophecy. Okay, but um, this uh, pastor here, name is Pastor Pastor uh, Ronnie Hampton. Okay, of the uh, New Vision Community Church. Okay, it's ironic because him and three other pastors died died all in their sixties. One was sixty six, the other one was sixty six. The other one, uh, this guy here was in his 60s as well. That's a lot of sixes, okay? I mean, the, the, the most high marks you, okay? You, you just can't get a, get away from it. Now, he says some things that um, he speaks like, kind of like, uh, what's this guy? Thomas Dexter Jakes, T.D. Jakes, where they preach prosperity, where the things that they're saying is not actually wrong, but they're not telling you the truth. Okay, and over in the corner, I noticed another uh, looks like article where it says Texas Sunday school teacher, father of six, dies of coronavirus. Okay, so where's Kirk Cameron and all the crew that's waiting on the uh, rapture? So if all these people are dying, all these pastors and preachers are dying, well, what about the rapture? I thought they would all be beamed up. I thought all who believe would be beamed up into the chariots. How about you, Vocab Malone? Do you believe that too? Do you believe as a Christian that before the tribulation, the rapture will come and you will all be beamed up? And if you don't believe that, why aren't you getting on these other churches? Because it seems as these pastors are dying. Okay, Sunday school teachers, pastors, and it seems to be a lot of these men. Okay? Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to get straight to the point.
okay, what this guy said about the mark of the beast, okay, it goes on to say, he goes on to say, we are not able to break bread, sit down, eat with each other because Caesar is mandating how we conduct ourselves, okay, using the pretext of, the, of this virus to be able to conduct our lives. And this is what he's telling you, that Caesar, which we know is Edom at this point, is conducting their lives, and he's okay with it, okay? Now, we got to follow the laws of the land, okay? Where they have the distancing and the, the five people in a group at a time or ten people or whatever the case is. But that's all right. You keep pushing the work, okay? The, clearly, the Lord is not dealing with these pastors, man, okay? Okay, it says, um, um, let me go on and see what it says. I'm going to get to the point. Okay, he's... It says he began he then began listing various discussion discussions and conspiracy theories right that have been circulating online in the discussion groups about the virus now his he's here's a theory he said now he has a theory it was brought to my attention that the virus thing people die from the flu more than they died from the virus uh from this virus which is true. There's more people in the U.S. died from influenza strain than everybody who died on the planet of coronavirus. The problem with the coronavirus is much more infectious. So if it continues, it'll definitely outnumber it, okay? But anyway, he says, in his opinion, death is death. This is what he's saying, okay? Death is death. And it is. Death is death. He said, I don't care what it's by, but I listen and, and they say, well, it's something that comes up and now everything is being shut down. Borders are being closed and they're going to come up with a vaccine because they are keeping everybody away from each other just so that they can install martial law, Hampton said. Now, he's saying this is a conspiracy theory. OK, he also goes on to say they're going to come up with a vaccine and in that vaccine, everybody's going to have to take take it. And inside the vaccine, there's going to be some type of electronic computer device that's going to put some type of chip in you and maybe even uh, have some mood mind altering circumstances. And they and they're saying that the chip would be the mark of the beast. He continued. Uh, he goes on to say, and uh, he then noted that some people have even been saying that the coronavirus is the sign of the last days before urging Christians not to get caught up in the paranoia surrounding the virus. And this is what he's saying. He said, don't get caught up in it, okay? But that's why the Lord killed them, okay? The Lord said he's going to bring plagues. Now, I'm going to read a scripture before I go back, okay? Isaiah 39, 39, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, will say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak to uh, unto us smooth things, speak unto us smooth things, prophecy deceits. Okay, this is what we see right here. These are prophecy uh, deceits. Okay, and this is why this guy is telling you, don't get caught up in the hype. Don't worry about it. Just follow and do what Caesar says. This is all this guy is telling you, man. He continued, God didn't make no cowards. God didn't make people to be scared of any kind of circumstances. Where is that in the Bible? The scriptures said that people are going to be uh, crying and screaming. Where is that? These guys just make up things as they go along. Women, Men are going to be as women in travail. Men are going to be screaming like women. Okay, that's always been the case. Where is that? God didn't make people to be scared of any kind of circumstance. Okay, well, you know what? Tell them Christians take off their masks, take off their gloves. Don't take the vaccines. You know, leave it all alone. It says that comes along that that will shake your very foundation. These prosperity speakers, I keep telling you, they speak like T.D. Jakes, they speak like those bishops, those pastors. they all false, man. And that's why the Lord is killing them. 
It says, but he will allow you to be able to come to yourself about it just like he did with the prodigal son. He said, don't let no coronavirus steal your praise. <laughs> don't let no coronavirus steal your worship. Don't let no coronavirus steal your spirit. But he never brings the scripture out. You know? Let's go on. Let's see what the scripture says. Matthew 10 and 34. This is the one you call Jesus. He says, think not I am come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Okay? Let's go to verse 35. One of my favorite scriptures. For I, I am come to set a man at variant separation against his father and a daughter-in-law against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. So everything that this guy is speaking is totally different than what the scriptures are saying. Everything this guy is speaking is totally script different than what the scriptures are saying. He continued, God didn't make no cowards. God didn't make people to be scared of any kind of circumstances that comes along that will shake your foundation. Okay? Actually, I read that part. It goes on to say, um, let me see what else it goes on to say. He said, I'm optimistic about the outcome of all of this. The paranoia that based around all of this is so profound that when people hear coronavirus, they can't do testing or anything else. They just figure you got it. Okay. Um, let me go on. He says, I want you to know that the Lord said not to let your heart be troubled. Okay. So I'm not trying to worry about this. See, and, and these are the things that they don't understand. These scriptures are only going to the elect Israelites. All these people in folly. This same pastor tells you to eat pork, shrimp, crabs. You can, do, you can eat and do anything goddamn thing that you want to do. But meanwhile, when hell comes, everybody's crying for God. But Mark, the 12th chapter, the 29th verse says, The first of all commandments is to love the Lord with all your heart and all your might and your strength. Okay? But these guys ain't doing that, man. Okay? This is Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing but reveal of his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Okay? That's why they don't have it. That, that precepts in uh, Matthew 13 and 11. For the, the elect will, will know the mysteries of the kingdom. That's why this guy will not reference, he calls it a conspiracy theory, the mark of the beast. Okay? Let me go. Let me go on to this. Um, let me get this first. This scripture real quick. This is Jeremiah seven and sixteen. Pray therefore. Therefore, pray not for thou. Pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them. Neither make intercessions to me, for I will not hear thee. You know. So they're going to church. They're practicing the same old customs. They all claim they love God. But they're doing nothing that the Most High said to do. But they're doing everything that the Most High is against. Easter's coming up. You know they'll be following the, the Queen of Ishtar. You know they'll be worshiping the, their rabbit and the eggs. Okay, as I said before. A mammal that doesn't lay eggs. You know they'll follow that madness. And they'll give it to their children. And, and say it's all, um, it's all just folk tale. Don't worry about it. It's healthy. You, From your root of your children, you're teaching them to lie. But you're not teaching them to love the Lord. You know, this old fool, you can see that's what happened to him. His parents taught him. Goes on to say, seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and Jer in the streets of Jerusalem, which is the Israelites. The children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire. And the woman need their dough. Talking about the, the families, our, our people as families. Okay, to make cakes to the queen of heaven. And to pour out drink offerings unto other gods. And they provoke me to anger. They'll have these churches and they'll have these Easter egg hunts. And say that it's okay, it's healthy. It's healthy for children to follow these false doctrines. It's okay to have Halloween parties in these churches, man. Okay. That's why the Lord 
bringing anger, bringing destruction. And meanwhile, while the Lord bringing his, showing his power, and you, a lot of you pastors, you're dying, your children are dying, people are dying, not just from this virus, but from other plagues like the sword, man. You know, the Negroes are killing each other fast, quicker than the coronavirus. It says, do they promote, provoke me to anger? Okay, saith the Lord. Do they not pro provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? Okay, at the end of the day, that's why they all messed up. They, they have no idea what the hell they doing, man. That's why they in every goddamn different doctrine. His church, then down the street there's another church that follows another doctrine. As long as you claim you believe in God. But the scriptures in James says, faithful, faithful without works is dead. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured, poured out upon this place, upon man and upon beast. You know, that's right. The animals got to die too, man, behind you people, man. And upon the trees of the field, because everything's polluted. And upon the fruit of the ground. Edom, you haven't been a good steward towards the planet. Okay? And it shall burn. And it shall not and and uh and shall not be quenched. And that's going into those missiles too, man. Missiles got to take this place out. It's time for it to go. And this is just the start of what you're seeing. This is just a start of what's coming to pass, man. He goes on to say, We're going to be fine. We're going to be all right. And I'm believing in that. <laughs> yeah, he's all right now. So I want you uh, you all to pray with me that the Lord uses this to be able to continue to spread his message. And that's what he's doing. He's actually, see what I'm saying about these pastors? The things that they're saying, he's actually right. But he's right on the left-hand side. The Lord is using this coronavirus to spread his message. Okay, it goes on to say about the good news. About our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he added. Come on, man. You know? This is, if you you people can't wake up, you know, and then this guy got the nerve to have the lion behind him. I don't know. He must have heard the Israelites. No doubt about it. He heard the Israelites. And, and when he when he going into the chip, he know we the only Israelites push that on a heavy, heavy level. Okay? And this is what you pastors get. You know what you try to do? You try to steal a little bit from us, each one of our camps, steal a little bit from IUIC, steal a little bit from Great Millstone, steal a little bit from House of Israel or whatever, and then you try to make your own doctrines out of it. But you see what the Lord is doing to you old pastors, man. You know? Now, I, you know, the bottom line is he said the coronavirus he thought the coronavirus was given to him to allow the infection, allow this infection so he can get some a little rest. Well, he was absolutely right about that too. That's all I have on that. Shalom.